Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Ajax website that's going to call a web service. Um, it's going to allow a user to dynamically type in some values and um, we'll be able to filter the results. So what we'll do is we'll create a new website, uh, an ASP.NET enabled one. And um, basically what's going to happen is the user is going to type in some values, we're going to call a web service to pull back some format to HTML and display it in a div tag. Nothing too complicated. So um, we will stick with HTML value, um, things for now. So we've got our text box here, and uh, I'm going to call a function in the on key up event. And we'll call it do search. Now I'm going to pass in this, which just allows me to get a hold of the text box where the, the search has been performed on. Um, and let's add a script. So we can create that function. Okay, so I only want to do the search if um, obviously there's more than three characters, otherwise you'd just be bombarding the results, the, the web service with nothing really. Um, so then this is where I need to do the call. So what we'll do now is we'll create the web service, um, which we're going to call at that point there, and um, we'll show you how to do all that. So we add in the web service, and what we've got to do is we've got to add in an attribute, and this attribute allows this web service to be called through JavaScript. Um, basically it generates some JavaScript in the behind file on the web server that allows it to be called. So what we'll do is we'll create a function called um, search and we want string str result to find and we're going to pass in i um, number to return just to make sure we're not returning too many values. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little for loop that's going to search um, So this for loop is basically going to um, just generate some return results for us. Um, so we'll set this at equal to the results to find plus x to string. And I'm also going to add in um, a breakpoint in here um, just to make it go to the next line. So if we return this value, um, right, so that's pretty easy. So now all we need to do in the front end is call this method, pass in the results, and put whatever this returns into a div tag. So what I'm going to do is inside the script manager, I am going to add something called um, a services. Oops, it's the path I want to use, and it's web service .asmx. That's what the file's called. And what we need to do in here is we need to call web service dot um, search. That's what the function's called, and we need to pass in the values that we're going to search for. So we're going to search for text search dot value, and we'll return ten values. Okay, so that's all well and good, but um, we need to get the results out of this. Now, because it's asynchronous, what you do is you pass in effectively a delegate, which is a function that's going to get called when the values come back. So let's create a function called onComplete. So we're going to get the results, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of, we'll set an ID on here so we can get a hold of this. And we'll use DOM to get a hold of it. So we'll just set the inner HTML to equal the results. And hopefully, if I haven't made any typos, um, they should return what we're after. Oh, I must have made a mistake somewhere. So 
a look here. Oops. So if we um, run this now. Then what we should find is that the results um, come back. Let's have a little peek. So um, I'm just going to start typing, and it's kind of working, but it's only bringing back one. Why is it doing that? should be plus equals so um there we are. So as you can see, it's generating the results for us, and um, that's what we're after. Now we could make these hyperlinks just format HTML. You could um, generate some JavaScript so that will mouse over it, change the back color, and does all sorts. Um, but there you have it. That's how we generate some um, to call a web service with HTML.